So, Nakiri Ayame, 1-7 scale pre-painted figure from Koto Bikuya. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't really buy scale figures very often. But there was something about Ayame's design that I absolutely adored. And as you guys can probably see from this little unboxing and mini review, that she looks absolutely fantastic. With a huge amount of exquisitely detailed patterns on her cloven, she's gonna look like an absolutely star on your shelf. She even comes with detailed looking swords and a really, really nice looking gradient hairstyle. It's something that I've really come to appreciate when I do buy skills, is how well a lot of these hairstyles actually look. I just really like gradients. The figure itself costs 16,600 Japanese yen, which converted into English pounds is around 100 pounds as of this particular video. Shipping for this one, as to be expected in this day and age, was quite expensive. DHL costing around 6,000 yen, which for a scale figure is probably about standard. I did feel that the box was a little bit big for what it needed to be, but she was well secured and covered up in plenty of plastic and paper to make sure she wasn't damaged in transit. Which, at the end of the day, I'd rather pay a little bit extra to have a bigger box and make sure our figures are nice and safe than lose out and have a damaged figure. The pose for IMA is rather standard and you know what, I feel like I really like it. I really like the whole assertive looking, yet cheeky, expression that she's got on her face. I believe if you do order from the company directly you do get an alternative headpiece or at least an alternative face so you've got a different option. One cool thing that I thought was that the Hanya mask on the top of her head is held on with magnets. Powerful, powerful magnets. Sadly I feel like the base is a little bit lacking however 
I feel it's quite standard for this company. The base itself is nothing really special, but it does its job. Unfortunately, you can't remove her from her base and put her on anything else, which is a bit of a shame. I feel like the product has been rather well designed. I mean, I can't really find any particular blemishes or any poor paint jobs, which is quite surprising considering this is probably on the cheaper end of scale figures. I've definitely seen figures that are more expensive with a lot more issues. Maybe this is part of the whole whole life excessive overabundance of quality control which I have started picking up in the Nendroids. It feels like a lot of Hololive figures are above and beyond when it comes to quality. That's not to say she doesn't have any issues whatsoever. There was one small issue other than the base that I did kind of pick up on and you guys might have picked up on. That's right, it's this little tiny bit of hair right here. You can probably see, you can see where it has been put together and you know what? You're never ever going to see that in real life, are you? You're never going to see that and go, oh, that's not going to sell a figure ever again. So, that is my little review on Nakiri Ayame. I've tried to do things a little bit differently than what I would do normally, but I can definitely see that this is a really cute figure and will take pride on my shelf. This one actually sold me on trying to pick up a few more scale figures, but of course I need to be good. Can't buy too many scale figures, I just don't have the space. But what do you guys think of this particular figure? Do you like her? Or is it something that you could easily pass on? And let me know what you guys thought of this video. I like to always try and improve and change things up a little bit from now and then. If you like this, let me know in the comments. Let's see if we can find a nice place on the shelf for her, shall we?